poor drainage system has been hampering the free movement of people and goods, especially when it starts to rain. The worst comes when the rains are heavy and they soak well into the walls of houses, some of which are made of low-quality cement or mud bricks due to excessive poverty. However, the people of Ibo Town and New Joswang have been facing many constraints for the past years, which are poor roads, electricity, water, health facility, gardens, football field, floods and unemployment. Various speakers took time to outline the challenges they are faced with on a daily basis, stating that the president shall help them with schools because Kandiba School, which is in New Joswang, was initiated by the New Joswang community and the school is in a bad state, so they are urging the government to renovate it. Bakari Wai Baji, Minister of Youths and Sports, said people should help the president because there are a lot of changes since the president took power and he respected human rights, supported women and civil servants are free to join any political party of their choice. <laughs> Hamad Nkeba, Minister of Tourism and Culture, said the president has united Gambians and tribalism is becoming a history in the Gambia. There is no religion differences and he is urging the people to accept the gift given to the Gambians and to make sure that peace continue to prevail in this country. On his part, Adam Abaro, the president of the Gambia, said he is aware of the problems the people of Ibo Town and New Joswang faced during the rainy season, stating that they are part of his development plans and they are part of the OIC roads, which are supposed to start in March. <laughs> During this period, the president is expected to chair over 44 public meetings and spot visits to development projects relating to agriculture, education, health care, youth entrepreneurship throughout the country. The president will use the opportunity to reiterate his call for unity, social cohesion and harmony. Reporting for Paradise TV News, Nafisa Tukamara.